Welcome back from the DHA Sports Club, Moin Khan Cricket Academy, Karachi, where the second match of tonight, DHA Dabangs are taking on Clifton Popular. And news from the century is that Clifton Populars have won the toss and they have opted to bowl first. A little surprisingly for me at least, but we'll see what they have to offer. It's going to be another very good game of cricket. Looks as if it's going to be Farhad Abdali, the man on your screen, will be starting the proceedings. He's a left-arm quickie. And taking strike is going to be Casey Kuram Chakwal. Here we go. And there you go, in the slot, and welcome to the bowling crease. And sails over eventually for the maximum. This is Casey for you. As is another one, this time he goes over cover. And that's gone all the way as well. Couple of sixes to start the proceedings. Entertainment already, Zishan. And again, flick of the wrist and away she goes. That's another one, three of three. He's non-stoppable at the moment. There you go. It's a no ball. Alding sought to the wound and it goes all the way. Four of four. Well, this is an onslaught and so far the bowling side have no answer to that. Four maximums to start off the campaign. Four maximums to start the innings. Could have got that Yorker right. Not, it's not going to help. The length deliveries are not going to help his cause. It's a couple of bounces and over the boundary for four through mid-off. He goes big, this time it's Uma. And it's gone all the way. That has to be the biggest of the night so far. It's 37, would you believe, after first over. And there you go, have a look at that for a shot. It's gone for four, not gone all the way, but it was an amazing stroke of cricket. It was slow in pace and it went high in the air. Now somebody has to get underneath it. Someone lining underneath it and makes a good reverse cup. And that's the end of Kuram Chakwal. Will be much relieved Clifton to see the back of this guy. At the moment, Umar is going to be on, on strike. And Umar goes big this time. It's very high in the air. And it's safely gone all the way, I reckon. Yes, it is. Another maximum. Full toss, put away on the leg side. It's going to be a flat, no, one bounce into the fence. Outside edge, is it? Yes, it is. The finger is going to go up. Well, the persistence with that line and angle eventually helping the bowler's course. 63 for two. Shot. It goes big, and this is what Wakas is known for. It went a country mile over mid off. For a half a dozen. Come on, umpire. Put up your both hands. He goes big. He goes long. And it's a Wakas airliner once again. But lands in the hands. Unbelievably caught. They're losing wickets in clumps as well. They're hitting sixes and losing wickets. So it's a mix-up. End of the third over. It's uh, 72 for three. Another one. Even bigger and better, and it's gone many a miles. Balls are traveling and visiting the boundary ropes regularly. Oh, Yasser Mushtaq has hit it in the air, and that's exactly what you are talking about. And finally, baller got it right, and Yasser Mushtaq gifted a catch at the long on boundary, and fourth wicket falls. Oh, he caught that away, and Cut that away magnificently. It has gone all the way. Siptan uh, umpire raised his arms and signaled it a half a dozen. Edged it. Going to be out. It is. Failure was there at the flying slip, one may call it, who took that one gladly and another wicket falls. Facing Irfan. And he straight away launched that one and launched that one out of the park. Another six. What a way to start his innings. He hooked that one away. 
on to the onside. Fielder was down at the long leg boundary and he caught that one beautifully. He had to run, had to cover a bit of territory to get under the ball, which he did pretty well and at the end caught that one very, very nicely. One or two for six now. And straight away, he caught that one over wide mid on for a six. It's a lot of sixes. In fact, too many sixes. That was a very good ball. And it's going to be a run out. It's going to be a run out. Yes, it is. 114 for seven. Single on the last ball of the innings and it called leg wise by the umpire. So they have finished their innings. I reckon at 120 for 7. It's a very good score in 6 overs. The umpire calls it play. Fastball is going to start the proceeding from the gymnasium and he's going to come around the wicket first up. Hit away on the offside into the gap. That might go all the way for four. Yes, it does. So ex an excellent start as well for Clifton Popular. First ball has been dispatched for a boundary on the offside. This time he's taking the aerial load. Is that going to be the first maximum of the innings? You betcha it is. A boundary and now a maximum. And even Clifton Warriors are up and running. Short pitch delivery. That has been smoked on the leg side. That is going to go into the stands. What a way to get off the mark with that too from the captain. Hitting it up in the air. It's into the gap. One bounce into the fence or is it a maximum? Yes, it's a, it has been signaled as a boundary. So once again, Fahad starting the over with a boundary on the offside. A big shot attempted. Down the ground it goes and it goes over the boundary ropes as well. Once again, a four followed by a maximum coming from the bat of Fahad. Pick up shot on the leg side. That's going to travel to Journey as well. All of the batters from both the teams are showing no mercy whatsoever to the ball. Shot of the day to me. Against Fahad. He goes straight. He goes long. And he goes for yet another maximum. That has been the story in this over. It's the third of Zuhaib. 26 of the over. Another swung away on the leg side. It's into the gap. That's going to go all the way for four as well. So that's the over they were looking for. Three maximums and three boundaries. Make that 30 coming from that over of Zohaib. So it's going to be a way Salim starting the third over. Four fielders outside the inner ring. Starts off with a short delivery. Put away on the offside. Beautiful batting once again. This time coming from the bat of Asad. Now he decides to go big as well. And that's going to go way over the stadium. And the crowd really enjoying it. Very good striker of the ball. He goes big this time. Doesn't get the elevation, but certainly in the gap for a boundary. Down to mid-wicket. First boundary in this over. He goes big. And he goes massive. And eventually he comes down, but out of the ground. What a shot to start the proceedings. Welcome to the bowling crease. Yes, I am very much excited about it. And you are seeing that the Karachi is in the back of Karachi. And everybody is enjoying this match. And let's look at the Clifton Popular. Okay, here we will tell you that the Clifton Popular has fallen a wicket. Inna lillahi wa inna lillahi raji. But this is a game, you know. In the game, it's like this. But if you bowl that length, then you're going to go the journey, no matter it's meat of the bat or not. And it goes all the way with all the pace of the bowler. He picks that one away, but straight to the throat of deep squad leg fielder. Another wicket goes down. It's Hak Nawaz, who's the latest exit. Second wicket goes down now. He goes big and this is what we were expecting of Omar Bajwa. He's a big striker of the ball and that is the evidence. He chips one in the air and he's been caught brilliantly. 
Very good catch there by Kuram Chakwal at long on boundary. So Bajwa goes for six after two deliveries faced. He goes big this time, does Tahir, and he goes long as well. Over squirreling for a big six. There he goes. And I wonder if that is a wicket. There you go. <laughs> Your prediction comes true, Kaina. Yeah, they've managed to hand in 13 runs of their quota of six overs and lost four wickets, which means that they will have to trail by seven runs.